Hey there, Cancer. Hope you guys' this weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming out for you guys as high as good at this time. This is for the beautiful sign of Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer. Cancer, please. We got Passion. Two more. We got Trapped here. We got Freedom here. All right. And then we got avoidance here. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. There was a couple, um, Virgo had this same placement on the bottom of the deck here. And they had freedom and trapped here too. So you could have Virgo placements or you dealt with a Virgo here. But somebody here definitely sees that you are, that you're not, you're not easily trapped anymore. Like you've broken free from a lot of things that have tried to hinder your growth here. So somebody is thinking about you passionately here. And somebody doesn't like to take accountability. Sometimes somebody likes to avoid you when you hit them with the truth and facts. And now that you're avoiding them, they're panicking. What's the overall energy for cancer, please? Grief. So this is about not letting this person cause you any more grief and pain. So this is someone that tried to keep you trapped by using grief. By, by having you operating out of grief and pain, they were able to keep you stuck in that. And now somebody's worrying because you are no longer, they're no longer being trapped by that. You have definitely, you know, took your power back and stepped into your growth here. So you're learning that worry doesn't change an outcome and somebody's now worrying because you're not operating out of pain anymore. So somebody here wanted you to doubt yourself. That's how they were able to keep you stuck in this loop with them. And you've been releasing this connection. Even if there's things that unanswered questions, you're still moving forward here. So... Somebody's trying to come back towards you with some kind of passion. They want to make it seem like they now appreciate you since they lost you. But this is someone that will still want to keep you in this trap. Let me get one for cancer. You already know in your heart what to do. So you're going to know what you need to do here. Like you like get hit with some kind of like, like something about your intuition that just guides you to make right choices. And so whatever's trying to come towards you, this past person, like you already know what to do. Let me get another one. I'm being called to get another one. And this person tried to say that you thought you were all that. He, she, they think they're all that. Then why are they trying to come back for you if they think that you're full of yourself? So this is the person that's full of themselves. That's why they try to convince others that you are. That's called a projection here. And I am about to fall in love. So a lot of you guys are getting ready to, to meet a passionate new beginning. Have a passionate new beginning with a new person here. So somebody's worried about you having that for yourself too. Because somebody is really trying to like slander and gossip about you. Somebody wants you to be looked at as like conceited, self-absorbed. Because this person's trying to do everything in their power to get other people to look at you in a bad lighting. Because they can't have you. They don't want no one else to have you. But you're still about to fall in love, though. Let me get one for cancer. Let me get one for cancer, please. Cancer, thank you. we got a sacred space. I take time to clear myself and my home to create a sacred space. So you could have a certain area in your room. You could have an altar here. But make sure that you're just taking time to cleanse that area and cleanse yourself. And then you need to do the same. So in your psychic abilities here, I am psychic and intuitive. I felt that there's something here about you just getting hit with some kind of intuitive downloads and it's like you already know when someone's coming towards you and it's like you just get the answers about things before things even happen here okay i see you all right so there's something here about trusting your 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 gifts somebody has like premonition somebody like can somebody can know when something is happening like before it happens here that's pretty cool so Somebody is worried about your psychic gifts as well. That your intuition and your gifts scare this one here. And then you are definitely attracting better things towards you. My outer world is a reflection of what's within. I am mindful that my thoughts and words shape my reality. So this is about speaking those beautiful things into existence. So if you said that you wanted a better love connection, well, guess what? That's what's coming towards you. So got to... Um, yeah, I'm picking up on somebody that's very gifted and what they say is like what their reality is. So just make sure that you're only speaking on things that you want to happen for you. What needs to be surrendered for cancer, please? What needs to be surrendered for cancer at this time, please? Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the, the spirit and let 
the divine work its magic for you or or surrender it to the vine to the divine flip it flop it but this is about doing everything that you can to create something for yourself and then this being at flow with the universe and letting it all come towards you here and then being in this joyful high vibing energy a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it indulge in random acts of smiling both during the hard and easy times so you guys could be a dancer you could dance to you know, let go of the stress and transmute energy here. But this is all about staying in that high vibing energy because the more that you raise your vibration, the more that you're able to, to attract things towards you effortlessly. So, talking about passion, why is that here? So, definitely a passionate new beginning coming in. So, somebody here thought they had you stuck at a crossroads like you weren't going to go down that path to open up for new things and somebody clearly sees it. That's, you know, that's that's what it's going to be. Somebody here is trying to still figure out how to keep you stuck at a crossroads. Somebody wanted nothing more than to stop something new from coming towards you. It's almost like this new person has been at a crossroads observing you as well. But they're ready to come down that path that you're on. Tell me more about passion. There it is. A passionate new beginning here. So somebody definitely just very attracted to you. Somebody here is very, hmm, somebody definitely got this. It's like an it's like an infatuation, but it's not in a bad way though. This is somebody that just you really like you really like turn this one on. And for this past energy, this past person wants to try to come in here and have some kind of sexual encounter with you to try to create drama for you as well. So it's almost like you got a past and a new person both like waiting and as soon as like the new person starts making its way towards you, then comes a the past person. So Somebody is like doing something to spy into your life to see that this is happening here. So somebody knows that you're holding back. Somebody didn't expect for you to have this inner strength to keep going after things that passionately ignite your fire. That's for yourself. Whatever you're attracting towards you it doesn't have to be love. Whatever you're trying to that something that just makes you have a drive and a passion for life is what you're attracting towards you. So you're definitely holding back from you're being called to hold back from this past person for sure. And there's something here about just really observing certain things that you speak into existence. Like I'm really being focused on that with this read. There's something that you've been calling in for yourself. And you may be calling in things that you don't even realize that you're calling in. So just make sure you're using your discernment. So someone could be at a distance. Something about closing out these old cycles and making room for these new cycles that are trying to head your way. And that's love. And that's all kinds of different areas. Whatever you're attracting towards you is coming towards you. So something here about better contracts. This past person, you could have been married to them. This past person may have tried to use the marriage card just to keep you stuck. If you were getting getting ready to break free from them, they, they would say and do anything to keep you stuck. And a lot of you guys have a, a new person coming towards you that's very passionate about you, that sees you as marriage material. So there's something here also about Shifting your perspective and getting out of that lack mentality here with there's because there's something here about your passionate endeavors, whatever you're trying to attract towards you, you have definitely broken some kind of limiting self beliefs about yourself. That's good. And then, of course, you got this past person trying to figure out how to get you to look at them differently. And there's like a new person here that is still this is like someone that finds you like they view you as a catch and they are looking at you in a good light. And the past person tried to tried to get someone to look at you in a bad light, but the new person still looks at you in a good light. So tell me about trapped. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to come in here and offer you something. Someone could have paid somebody to do some kind of spell work on you to keep you trapped and stuck to not move forward, but that didn't work. But somebody's trying to present something to you. But this is like, it's like a trap. There's something here about... Somebody trying to extend like a loyal, stable offer, but somebody doing this because you've taken your power back. There's something about the power that you have, something about this psychic gifts that you have that makes somebody nervous. So they're trying to present something to you to make you fall back into this trap with them. And they don't want you to receive this better offer. There's some kind of better offer that's coming in and this person's jealous and they're trying to get in the way of that too is what I'm getting. Somebody is definitely strategizing and plotting. Somebody is very cold, very this heartless. Somebody's heartless. Somebody doesn't want you to have something. And somebody's been trying to strategize on how to have a conversation with you because somebody knows that they can't end something for you. 
Because someone already tried to end something. Very well could have tried to end you. They wanted to stop your manifestations. So somebody is trying to tiptoe back into your energy that is from your past. This could be past life connections. You could have children with this person. But this person is, this is someone here that has been like making it seem like they didn't have any, like they want to make it seem like they weren't trying to stop something for you, which they clearly have. Like this is someone that's been against you. And now they're trying to freaking reconcile with you. Somebody very well tried to trap an earth angel, so that's not going to end well, too, because somebody's going to be hit with some kind of karma for trying to trap an earth angel. So somebody is trying to heal something with you to fall, so you fall back into this trap. And somebody just tried to trap an earth angel. That ain't going to end well. Talking about freedom for cancer. Somebody doesn't, like, this is about breaking free from any type of, uh, connection that you were putting all the work in like this is breaking free from all that but somebody tried to do everything in their power like this is someone that tried to form more than one person to come up against you because someone did not want you to break free someone did not want you to be looked at in a good light either something about you not and trying to stop your your psychic growth as well as what i'm getting somebody tried to stop your psychic growth and you broke free and you're still going towards your victory this is about breaking free from all these. I keep getting drawn to limiting beliefs. Like this is about dropping all of that and moving towards this victory. So somebody's going to try to get your attention. You've had a lot of things try to grab your attention and try to stop you from growing into who you're meant to be at this time. So this is about taking inspired action and not letting these, these in and out connections come into your life anymore. So this is about breaking free and never looking back. Breaking free from a, a connection. Some of you was a marriage. Just breaking free from these foundations that thought were for you and letting the, the faulty foundations crumble apart and building yourself back up stronger. And there's something here about you finding the truth and clarity and seeing things for what it is. So some of you guys could have had some kind of controlling mother figure. Something here about... Not being controlled by finances for my feminines that were in relationships where you had men try to control you with finances and things. This is about breaking free from all of those limiting beliefs here. And somebody still looks at you with great admiration. Somebody here sees everything that you have broken free from and how you've overcome these challenges. Somebody sees your hard work. And there are definitely some really awesome seeds that you have planted because you stepped into your growth. And you definitely planted some good seeds and they're all being, they're all attracted to you because you've been raising your vibration and it's coming towards you. I'll tell you about avoidance. So you're avoiding. So somebody's stressed. Somebody's paranoid, stress, worry, overthinking things. Because somebody knows that you are now avoiding them and you're done. And somebody is avoiding you because your, your, your psychic gifts freak somebody out here. I keep kidding that. Tell me more about avoidance. Well, somebody is heavily in their head, man. Obsessing. And this is about you avoiding any type of darkness that tries to hinder your growth and stop your, your manifestations from coming in. So... Man, this is about avoiding this dark energy, man. So somebody knows that you have definitely shifted your perspective. And somebody knows that they can't keep you stuck anymore. That's why they took off and left you when you were hitting with the truth and things. And now that you're no longer stuck and you're avoiding them, now they're trying to get you to look at them differently. And somebody thought that, I'm telling you, there's something here about this person, like waiting for the perfect time. Like they think that you're going to cool off and you're going to take them back. But now this person's panicking because they see that you're looking outward and they definitely see that you're attracting better things towards you. And a lot of you guys, part of it is love for yourself. Somebody is trying to see if you're talking to somebody because this past person wants nothing more than to mess with your new connection here. I feel like they've already been trying to do this. And they're definitely, this is also you avoiding this past person because you definitely have seen some things for what it is. And your past person... They take off and avoid you because there is, I keep getting there's something here about your intuition that spooks this person out. Somebody is trying to, to come towards you and like, like this, after enough times went by, this person is trying to figure out the right ways and to, to come towards you. And somebody did some kind of spell work and then they avoided you, making it seem like they didn't have no part in that. But a lot of you guys are already onto that too. So... 
you're more emotionally aware now and your feelings are more reserved. And this person knows they can't manipulate you. So in their mind, if they give you enough time to cool off, they'll be able to tiptoe back into your life again. But there's somebody new showing up here for you. You're attracting all kinds of things towards you. I've got Pisces, fire, fire, earth, fire, earth, fire, air, and um, Capricorn. So my two major arcanas is this double energy, which is about letting go of those limiting beliefs and breaking free, breaking free from anything that was hindering your growth. And then we've got the hangman over here at the bottom, which is shifting your mindset, having that awakening, tapping into your psychic abilities here. So avoiding this person and they confused. And then I'm telling you, this past person avoids you and then they come back after enough time's gone by and then they act confused and naive like they don't know what they did wrong. But they do. They're just trying to gaslight you. And they're going to be really confused when they come back because you got all these new beginnings making their way towards you, including love here. You never gave up hope on yourself. That's beautiful. Continue keeping that faith in yourself. You got a past person that's hoping that you're going to fall for their stuff again because they longing for you. They're thinking about you. So you may be um, noticing that you're dreaming about this person, thinking about them is because they're trying to manifest you because they're trying to come back and reconcile. They want to say and do anything they can to try to get back. But it's after a certain time frame that they do this. Just start hitting them with the truth again. I guarantee they'll run again. <laughs> Cancer. Somebody wants to communicate. Somebody wants to clarify something. Now, this could be a new energy and definitely the past. They want to, They are trying to figure out how to get back into your energy. And you're letting go of the old you, honoring the cycle that you're in. And what goes around comes around. So this person is going to have to be on the outside watching all these beautiful things come into your life. Because they already tried to do everything they could to destroy you. So now they get to see you flourish. And you're admired. Someone's got you on a pedestal. So somebody may feel, somebody may, like this past person may have felt like you were out of their league. That's why they tried to knock you down a few pegs. You may have even have a new person here that's looking at you and just feeling like either you're out of their league or they wanted, or your past person wanted to tell the new person that they are out of your league. But somebody tried to get somebody's head about someone here. And you're lighting the way. You're setting an example you're setting these strong boundaries, and you definitely are the love of somebody's life here. And that's that alchemy energy. You know how to make something out of nothing. And you are definitely reviving things that have been lost in your life. You're, you're calling them back towards you. And there's an infinite abundance, prosperous life, unexpected windfalls. You know your worth and your value. That's why you're attracting those high vibe things towards you. Wonderful. And there's this perfect match. Great chemistry. A quick connection. So somebody doesn't want you to have this. And I feel like someone already tried to ruin this for you. But this new person's very passionate about you. And you got a past person that's been trying to drink to forget you. Trying to be on the rebound. And you didn't do that. You worked on yourself. That's why you're ready to move forward with someone new. Those past person's all over the place. They could get You could get a call when they're under the influence. But they're, they're not doing good. But that's their issue to fix. You can't fix that for them. So this person wanted to do everything in their power to create a storm for you when you weren't phased by it. All about self-control. That's beautiful here. No longer reacting to the negativity. That's good. So some kind of spiritual lessons taking play. Some of you guys have, look at things, you have different spiritual or religious beliefs. Some of you guys be spiritual, some religious. So to each is his own. But there's some kind of religious factors that we're trying to get in the way of a connection here as well. And there's something here about Better friend groups, too, for someone here. This is about getting to know a new person, becoming friends first, and then friends turn into lovers. And then your past person, if they can't have you as a love partner, they're going to try to be friends with you. But this is somebody that will try to ruin things for you. And this person feels like time is running out. They feel like things are happening sooner than what they thought it was going to be. That's why they're trying to, that's why they're getting ready to come towards you again. And there's these two hearts falling in love. The feeling is mutual. You pour into me, I pour into you. That's what you've got coming towards you. That's what you've manifested for yourself. So that's why this past person wants to ruin it. Cancer. Some kind of legal issues. Balance being restored in your life. So some of you guys definitely are dealing with a divorce here or have, but there's definitely some kind of scales. Like I, I keep hearing balance is being restored in your life. Tell me more. This past person wants to create some kind of triangle. I feel like they've already been trying to do this. 
So your past person likes to paint you out as the non-committal one, but that's who they are. And if this person, when they find out there's someone new, or if they found out someone new is here, they try to create some kind of triangle for you. Somebody likes to copy you, likes to steal your ideals. So definitely got someone here trying to like be like you. So your past person could have went towards somebody and they were trying to literally be you because there's something about your energy that's very unique. But there's something about your, your energy that's just very, like that makes one of people to copy off you. So if you're posting things in the spotlight, you got people copying you. They're, they're stealing your ideals, but you're authentic. You are who you are. So it'd it be like that. Tell me more. And for some of you, you got a past person that's trying to copy this new person because it's like they want to be the new person. So they may start to dress and talk like them. So that's for someone too. But moving on, continue moving on. That's why the past person, they wanted you to have a, they wanted you to feel rejected. They wanted you to have a bad reputation because they didn't like that you rejected them. So when you put your foot down and told them no, they went that much harder to create a bad reputation for you. It would be like that. People are like that. Some of you guys, um, this person may work at children's services. You could work at children's services. There's something about this past person trying to say that you were neglectful and abusive here. So something here about home environment for some of you. Some of you guys were, grew up in environments where there was neglect and abuse there for some of you. But someone tried to paint you out as the bad guy here. And then somebody is definitely thinking about you. I'm telling you, you got a past person that is doing nothing but thinking about you. They're trying to pull on your energy. They're trying to figure out how to get you nostalgic over them. And somebody is an obsessive lover. This is a karmic energy. Someone that's got some unhealthy attachment with you. And this is someone that loves nothing more than to compete with you and have you fighting over them. And now they want to try to come in here and fight over you because you have new option coming towards you. So... This person tried to paint you in this bad light, too. I keep getting that. And you're over here rising. Stepping into your power in the spotlight. Praise. Look up, too. That's another reason this past person's worried. Because they creeping and watching. They seeing. And there's a new person watching, too. And there's those groupie energies that like to copy you. So some of you guys could have friends around you that want to copy and steal your ideals. So, again, remaining unbothered. You're unique and one of a kind. So let them... You know, let them, let them copy you because you're always coming up with new things anyways. So this past wants to try to come back and kiss your butt. Some of you guys got friends that want to come back and kiss your butt because they already tried to force themselves on you and that ain't working. So they're going to try a different technique. And they already tried to force other people to look at you in a bad light and that didn't work out either. And something about, for somebody, the new love, someone tried to force a new love to look at you bad. That ain't working either. Cancer. Boundaries. Enough's enough. Drawing the line and saying no. That's why this person's worried too. Someone doesn't like the boundaries that you've created, but oh well. But now that you're more aware and you know your value and the importance that you bring to the table, that's why we're creating these boundaries. This is somebody's worst nightmare for you to be emotionally educated now. And that is also causing you to tap in more to your gifts too. Someone wants to cloud your judgment. Someone already tried to cloud somebody's Somebody knew about you, tried to cloud their judgment. This is a very distorted person that feels like they're running out of time. And I swear there's something here about your past person. Like, they take off, they'll try to smear your name, and it's like they're trying to wait for the haze to go down and see how he's looking at that clock like, oh, wait, it's been just enough time. I'm going to try to go creep back into Cancer's life again. That's what this one likes to do. And then while you guys aren't talking, they try to smear your name and cloud other people's judgment about you is what this one likes to do. Tell me more. And you've got a new beginning coming in with the commitment. So, of course, the past is going to try to come in here and get you to go into commitment. And the past wants nothing more than to mess with your, your commitment. That's in reverse. So there's like an, an unbalanced masculine energy from your past that is trying to get back into your life. And someone is really trying to throw off another masculine energy from coming towards you. And if you're my men watching, you very well was thrown off thinking that a feminine wasn't for you when she clearly is. Or you was dealing with a woman in her masculine energy. But somebody really tried to throw off your masculine. And you dealt with a distorted masculine from your past. So somebody here wanted nothing more to, to affect your emotional, your emotional state. Wanted you to be affected. 
wanted to, to cause distractions, wanted to set delays for your growth and your manifestations, and it didn't stop anything. Might have slowed it down, but they couldn't stop nothing. Tell me more. And somebody's still got this chemistry, this spark for you. And there is a very hollow, a very hollow, empty individual from your past that tried to paint you in this light. So I'm telling you, there's something about this past person that if I can't have you, no one can have you type energy. But there's still a new person that has so much passion for you. The past is just going to have to sit there and soak in their shallow energy here. And you're over here waiting for these beautiful things to come into your life. Endless possibilities for you. A soulmate connection. Someone that you have deep love with. So there's like a new person wanting to confess to you. And then you've got this past person trying to come back. But there's some kind of clarity coming in for you. Don't let the past keep you conflicted because that's what they like to do. Man, two cards are conflicted. This is a hot and cold energy with your past. They like to, you know, reappear in and out of your life. So close that door for good, which I feel like you have, but they still come back. And this person's shocked. They did not expect for you to, like, they did everything they could to try to destroy your character, try to destroy you, and you just built your back, yourself back stronger. And they are shocked. They cannot believe that everything is still turning out in your favor, which it is. Cancer. If you frequently give yourself permission to doodle, wander, and be totally unproductive and actually relish such interludes, I can guarantee that your genius, creativity, and productivity will increase exponentially. So give yourself time for that inner child to play because you've really been like attracting a lot of things towards you. So just make sure that you're grounding your energy and just giving that, taking a time out for yourself. When you continue to reminisce, replay, or hold on to what could have been, you continue to hold yourself in a place of resistance. Let what was inspire a new way of living, but don't allow it to limit and determine what can be. So if you keep entertaining past things, you'll stay stuck in that. And we can't change anything, so no longer overthinking, worrying anymore. I feel like this is your past person that's really replaying things over in their head because you're moving forward. So, But boy, this person, your gifts really scare this person. I keep getting that too. So this person's just on, they're so in their head right now about you worrying about love and these gifts and these things that you're, your psychic gifts and these things that you're attracting towards you. Like this person is... They stuck in a rut, but they tried to do that to you, though. All right, beautiful Cancer, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Light and love to you. See you Wednesday.